So we're gonna play a little bit more uh, EU4. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube, I do recommend you come over to uh, the Twitch and uh, check it out live if you are able to. So uh, it's currently 1480. Denmark's led the military coalition against us. I mean, that's a, that's a great way to start off a uh, start off a play session. So we're at four to four relations. We are currently waiting for Diplotech 10 so that we can form the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. But right now, I'm attacking this, you know, 12 years ahead of time. 12 years ahead of time in military as well. Versus Unity is plus one. Ahead of on time of admin tech is a negative 0.05 for corruption. So corruption's looking pretty okay. Um, but our Diplo points... I mean, did, I, did I take my idea group? I did. Took innovations. Innovation game plus 3% would be quite nice for us. Scientific uh, revolution would be really nice. More tech cost reduction. You are stability cost. You are manpower, cavalry divisions, regiment cost, discipline, morale troops. All pretty decent. And already our cavalry uh, are pretty cheap. One base tax, base production, or manpower. Let's get one base tax in the province. So what do we want to do? I mean, it would make sense for us to want to fully kill the Teutonic Order. Because we, how many more provinces can I give to Lithuania? I can give them four provinces. And you know what? This is two. They have claims on those two. And you know what? They, have claim, they do have a claim on Riga. So you mean we take one, two, Riga, and we can take Kulm for ourselves. And I mean, like, why Why not? Why, why not do that? Right? Because that's going to be 57 provinces for Lithuania. We can even give them, like, one more if we wanted to. But do they have any claims anywhere else? Other than on Denmark, not really. And I don't know if we really want to go to war with the Danes right now. You will not support because you still are loyal towards the Danish, but that might change at some point soon. You're playing with... Pro no, Bohemia. Okay, Bohemia. Let let's get you back. That seems decent. We don't want truce with you anymore. You're allied to Mecklenburg, you're allied to Livonian Order. And aggressive expansion, I mean, it's it's a little high. But other than, like, with our direct neighbors, nobody really cares what we're doing to the Teutonic Order. So, Teutonic Order, hey. What if I just come and kill you? Bohemia would say yes. If I use my favors. But I don't think I, I don't need to. Like, it's 14,000 men against us. Yes, I think we'll just like full annex you, and then we'll call we'll call it a day. Um, you're out to Livonia and Mecklenburg. What about what about if we just go to war with like Livonia instead? No cost is belly. Do you know what, you don't have a claim on them? What about Riga? Yeah, you're part of the trade um the trade league. So, you know, I guess we'll just go to war with you. Mecklenburg, I'm not scared of. I mean, why would I be? Yeah, we don't need... Yeah, no, I, I think this is fine. We'll confirm uh, these ports. These forts, I should say, down the south don't matter so much. We'll move our troops up north, even though I don't think we really need to. And Lithuania? I mean, I don't even think Livonia has a army. I don't know what these guys are doing. You're going to go down to probably one of the ports that I've undefended. No, don't don't let them do anything. Get, get, get them out of here, okay? We got 71. I guess I'll go take over Livonian Order's capital. Yeah, they're going to come down to uh, Poodle. Probably not how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Do I not have any generals? Did both my generals die? They did. I mean, I have a lot of military points uh, right now. And, like, we're really high... At you know what? You're pretty good. We got actually two pretty decent roles there. So go with you, and then I'll put my siege general in charge of the army that's about to go siege down. And we do have artillery. And it's important to note that the AI does not. Okay, Lithuania, I do think you're building too many troops for this uh, occasion. Okay, where are you going to... Yeah, you can only go here. We're going to take a negative one, but we'll actually kill the army off. You're a 2-3-1, which is really actually pretty good for you. 
And how's our siege of this province going? A negative two because it's uh, not blockaded. Yeah, now you should basically be dead. You retreated one province into our own territory. You know what? I'll take it. Now you're dead. And there's no reason to even fund the army right now because, like, they're not... They, they, they have no troops. They, they have no troops and they can't fight us. Actually, that's not technically true. Mecklenburg has an army. But they have 5,000 men. And who cares about that? I don't. Okay, so Tonic Order. If I wanted these provinces... Saxony, Serbia... I mean, some of those countries are just, like, on the edge of... Maintain a diplomat, actually, with uh, Sweden. Some of those countries are, like, just on the edge of... Joining coalition. So I'm not too worried about them, honestly. 50 ducats. Yeah, you know what? I'll take the money. Do I need the money for anything? Is there anything I can actually uh, upgrade right now? Cultures. No, we want to go to buildings. A little bit more trade here. 0 0.17, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. I'm probably going back to for more um, manpower modifiers. Wouldn't be that bad either. I think it's a two-star general. I'll take it. We don't need this port. Again, they're forts, not ports. We don't need these two activated. I'm not that worried. Again, you still won't say yes, because you, uh... Thing is, like, they'd probably become disloyal if I was to back them. Which is the funny thing about their loyalty modifiers. Okay, so the burger's a little bit upset. More revolt risk, development cost, and trade efficiency. But nothing, like, too, too bad. I mean, trade efficiency right now for our country... ...isn't that big of a deal. We have... Can I plus 0.7? Plus 4.7. No, 4.97. Let's go for improved relations just to get the extra diplo point. It only costs us about a docket as well, which is not that bad. Our military advisor is dead. Okay, reinforcements people, 33%. Sure, why not? And this has a 50 50 chance of falling. You're at 21%. 10 diplo power is basically fine. And we'll transfer you over to Lithuania. How much money do you even... Yeah, basically, you guys are poor. That That's what I'm taking from this. 20 ducats. I mean, sure. And rivalry revoke cores. I mean, I guess like, I could puppet you and use your cores to take stuff from Denmark, but eh. I'd rather your, your uh, territory for free. Okay, again, we're on 55. This be 57. We could attack Riga and just take the city. And give them as much land as possible before the annexation. So you're in a trade league with all of these small one province miners. I guess some people really don't like my aggressive expansion. Most of like Europe doesn't. 50 inflation points set. Yeah. I mean, I'll take it. Inflation's not a big, big deal. I mean, how much does it cost to reduce inflation? 75 by 2? You've essentially... Was actually like a negative 0.12% inflation modifier. Which I'm okay with. Do you want me to help you with the siege? Okay, apparently not. It actually doesn't do anything. Do you already have a plus 1... No, you don't have any artillery in there. But I do have artillery. I guess we could train up more if I wanted to, but... I'm sure we're fine as is. Transfer that over to Lithuania. I guess we could transfer this to Lithuania as well. I don't know if they'd be able to core it, though. And of a cardinal... Against Glasgow? You are a a vassal of Bohemia. So I'm going to go and say, like, no, we don't want to uh, do that. Okay, Mecklenburg. Oh, 
Oh, you actually went over here and- Okay, decline this for now. What can I do with you? Sue for peace. Taking any territory would be a big mistake. And rivalry, Teutonic Order, Polish Vassal. War reps. All of your cash. And rivalry. Get rid of your alliances. And you know what? That's good enough. It's only at 26%, but that's probably because we don't have your actual, your only fort. And there we go. Now we're at 100. I'll transfer this over to Lithuania. How do I? Yeah, no, please go away. Um, 48%. You've got to be able to give you some money as well, right? I mean, some countries are going to be a little bit upset, but it's not really a huge deal. I mean, there's probably not much else we can actually do, right? Revolt cores. Yeah, I mean, that's basically all we can get. Let's send that demand in. And overall, I feel like that was a pretty successful war. We will make this into a core province. So some of these countries might end up joining a coalition against us. Which I would, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, and I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't put a uh, past them, you know, like, I, that makes a lot of sense. But once we form the PLC, we're going to be looking pretty, pretty good, because right now you actually cost a thousand points, which I think is more than I can even field at the moment. That I can field? That I can even store at the moment? Yeah, I, th I, th I think we're, I think we're doing pretty well. The burgers are back to being, you know, decent loyalty. 31% crown lands, not bad. Cleaves. Lack heirs, huh? Tech cost minus 10% for about 30 years. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. I'll take it. There's there's no doubt in my mind that I would want to take that. I mean, conversion ability, okay. I think the ability only lasts for about 17 years. Train of capital, colony, cavalry ratio, war tax, modifiers. I don't know what this means. Unrest minus five? You know what? That seems decent enough. Okay, we've got a conversion uh, successful. Austria trying to influence some people. I don't really care. I mean, I guess we're also a great power. Muscovy, Miami looks, they're all taking attack penalties right now. We'll keep on trying to get some of this stuff going. And did you um core all this land yet? You did. I mean, it's all Romanian, so it's like it's all your right religion, it's all your right uh culture. And actually speak thinking about that. Uh, if we go to uh, it's not economic. Is it geopolitical? Is it political? Yes. No, you have all the Romanian territory right now. Okay, so you, there is no more Romanian land. There is um, Hungarian, Slovak, and Transylvanian, which is like the... You know, cultural brethren or whatever, what, like, culture group, Carpathian. You know, except Prussia, we accept Ruthenian, but we're going to get a lot more Prussian Ruthenian very, very soon. But overall, I feel, um, I feel like once we, like, integrate all Lithuania, how much development do you guys have? Do I actually know? Who has, who's points here? 6259 throw 10 more points in you're you're 67 year old heir you might end up dying very soon don't abandon personal union seems like a mistake where's your development it's probably in the ledger economy technology overview no Country. Go to allies. Our development right now is at 283. 
Lithuania is at 356. So it means it'll more than double our uh, total development. And did we not finish one of these? Like, conquer new states, reclaim Prussia. No, you're not a core yet. Once, once you become a core, we'll have completed this. Then I think we will do this... Like, I think we'll finish, and I think we'll finish this immediately. You're getting cause belly against uh, you. We've already defeated the knights. The permanent claim on the Bulgaria area. Got a cause belly against you. I mean, that's a lot of cores we have. Like, these are just permanent claims against the Ottomans. So, I mean, if we could annex all of this land and put it into our territory, that'd be nice. If we own everything in the Balkans... Okay, no. If we own all of Bulgaria and the Ottomans have no territory in um, the Balkans, we finish this for, We finish this one. Military power and prestige. Apparently, we've also have done something else. Yes, yeah, so we have high income now. Lovely. Have at least five workshops. How many workshops do I have? I think I have three? Build two more. See if we can get this mission done. Because we already have the five churches. Fight the Ammon points. Another, um... 25 years just a flat 10, in 10 uh, die kits per... I mean, it's only less than one per month. So, I mean, it's actually not that great. Cardinal across the border. Level 3 spy master. No, there we go. We got a new car. No, let's go. Glasgow, stay the hell out of here. Because you are... Yeah, you're both vassal states of Bohemia. I'm sure they'll probably try to annex you rather uh, soon. 2,000 gold, huh? Build manufactories. At least 20 of them? Oh, Dean, that's, that's, that's a lot. Pure Conquest, Bohemian Union. We get a full claim on Slovakia. I mean, we're going to be getting, like, a lot of claims very, very soon. Like, Muscovy... As much as they're, they're kind of a threat to us. Like, I, I don't think we want to expand towards Muscovy. I think we want to expand more into here. Of course, Hungary is a puppet of Austria. Which is very scary. How many reforms have you done? You've done one reform so far. 45 princes, the 12 free cities. Two of you guys want to vote for Bohemia. I mean... I would like Austria to not... I mean, Bohemia being a Holy Roman Emperor would make a lot of sense. Uh, for us to want to kind of... I'm um, as preparing to attack Moldova, huh? Well, they're, they're planning to attack somebody. But you don't, you don't have claims in Moldova. And Crimea is a puppet state of yours. Cologne wants troops. We're not going to give any of those guys any men because it's not really worth my time. But actually, now that there's really no threat towards the north, we probably should be moving our troops down south a little bit more. Because you are you're not at war. Now you're at war. You're with Aragon and Castile. You're trying to take over Albania. No, let's save up for Tip Diplotech 6. We can steal maps. I don't know how much that's really going to uh, change things for us. Okay, we don't have a cost of claim on uh, Hungary. That's okay. Because once we form the Polish way the Commonwealth will, will be able to attack uh, Hungary anyways. Because we, we're still allies, right? Yeah, like, we're, we're still allies. Like, I have no reason to go to war with the Ottomans right now. They probably don't like us very much because of all the claims they have on their territory. But if me and the Ottomans were to go to war against Hungary... Try to take as much land out of them as possible. Livonian Separatist, huh? Oh, no, Lithuania, you can deal with that. That's your problem. It's not mine. They're at 315. We'll be done this in June of next year. How cheap is this tax? This tax will be done in uh, 
March, so very, very soon. You really train up so many men to go kill an 8 stack, huh? Like, what What about you? Like, you have 47 men, you're orthodox. I mean, you're you're pretty tough. I will, I'll give you that. Burger of Seas Power. And Aachen. What does that actually mean for anybody? Frankfurt, Baden, Nassauberg. It, it doesn't matter. But, um... Yeah, we'll get Diplotech 6. We can now build docks. Sailor increase, local defense, manufactory. They are very expensive. What do you do again? Your sailor modifier, which I think is basically hot garbage. Did these ever finish being built? Or does it say we only have two? Or I've been building have I been building them in um Mystery is working here, so you can't do two things at once. Don't be out of your mind. And actually it might be trying to it might be, I might have been building them in Lithuania. We have 36% power here. Like we just like no real power in Crimea. Like once we annex um Lithuania will be a different story, but for right now. It's all Imperial territory. Two people influence. Sure, I mean, I don't care about reform desire that much. Yeah, I mean, we're very, very close to reform. Okay, our, the heir has died. You are now 29 years old. You're 415. You have, you're plus 10% taxes. Not bad. I mean, I'll take it. Taxes are always pretty good. Yes, yeah, so we'll get our 10% tech cost reduction. I'm going to do glory about the changes. 